Um, Chris Jones with the Kansas City Chiefs, Jackie, was voted third in the top defensive player of the year. Okay, he was behind Nick Boza, and I think second came uh, T.J. Watt, maybe, and mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. and then Chris Jones. But he's saying that that wasn't good enough. He wants to be better. He wants to be the top guy. So I don't blame him. I I love his uh, ambitious attitude. Absolutely. You know, he wants to get to be the best there is. Absolutely. But if you're a betting man, would you bet that Chris Jones will be the defensive player of the year next year, or will the Kansas City Chiefs? fall into a Super Bowl hangover, Jack, and not be the team they were last well, year. Well, you know, he could not. He could have an off year and the Kansas City Chiefs could still win the Super Bowl. But, you know, um, it's interesting we're talking about Chris Jones right now because recent NFL statistics released mm -hmm. states, matter-of-factly, that Chris Jones, when line up in the three-technique position, yeah. is the top Defensive tackle in pro football. Now you think about that, Vince. No, I, I agree. That's including with, I agree Aaron with you, Donald. Jackie. That's including everybody else you can think of. They say he is the top. And the reason why they say that, Vince, is because when he lines up there, he's the most productive. Now, for our fans who really don't understand uh, and have a handle on what the three technique is, the three technique is a spacing. And what happens is offensive line coaches categorize spacing based on where you line up on. On the, on the guy that you're playing against. If you line head up on me, then that's a, a two-eye. You know, you're right. looking right at right. me. Okay. If you get outside of me, that's a three technique. If you get inside of me, that's a one technique. Now, what he is doing is he is being featured, particularly on pass downs, in a three technique, which is out between the offensive guard that has to block him and the offensive tackle that has to block the defensive end. So when you line Chris Jones up in a three technique, He's hard to beat. In fact, yeah. statistics say he is the best interior defensive lineman in all of pro football. So when I'm a quarterback and I'm looking to see Chris Jones in a three technique, I'm, I'm a little shaky there. You, you, better, I go you, get a little shaky. you better get the ball <laughs> out of your hand quick. <laughs> you well, better, I'm Because I've seen him in that technique, Jackie, and he's, he's dominant. He, he is dominant. He's a force and, because, and, and, you know, because you know why, Jackie? I think the offensive guard doesn't have the skill set that an offensive tackle does, especially when you have a guy on your outside shoulder, They're like a De an offensive tackle, because most of the edge rushers come from the outside. Absolutely. So, and he also can put pressure there, and then I think he can make the the threat to go outside and then under dip underneath. And he's so big, Jackie, Absolutely. and quick and rangy, tall. He's tall too. Jackie, how much havoc has he created for a quarterback in the shallow part of the pocket? This is the problem. That's, this, where, this, he's, this is that's problem. where he's making it. Historically, if you look at pass rush, pass rush comes from blind side, outside, outside on the right side, outside, right. and then inside from the left guard position. That's yeah. the inside blind side of the quarterback. But if you take this guy and you're putting him in the quarterback's face and he's beating your right guard consistently, right. He, you got a you got a six foot five, 320 pound man right in your quarterback's face all the time. That's gonna make a quarterback blink. I don't care who he is, man. Right, and I can step up when an outside rusher is coming up. I can step up into the pocket and get away from that outside rusher. But inside, when you have a big man like that right in your face. You're gonna step up and get hit in the lips. <laughs> <laughs> Directly not, in the there's list. nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the interesting thing, and you said that, and this is this is what is so relevant to me, and it, it just hits hits yeah. home with me. You know, the only thing that should be consistent about an offensive lineman's stance yeah. is this inconsistency. You have to get in a stance that allows you to do that particular job well. Then yeah. if you figure out how to do one or two or three other things from that same stance, that guy won't ever be able to read you. Right. Offensive guards are responsible for taking care of the heart of the pocket. They got to be firm on the line of scrimmage so that that quarterback can get back and ev evade those edge rushers and step up into that pocket. But if you are sitting there like a stuck in the mud with that being your mentality and you're going to be strong and powerful in one spot and the guy sitting out there and challenging you up here, you've got a problem. Yeah. So what you got to learn to do is get back there and deal with him with some power just like you would if he was right in front of you right here. And I don't think a lot of guys really go about teaching that to their players so that they can go in and out of stances no. to be successful. So it's I a think, mind game. I think the guy the Rams right now, Ryan Wendell, understands that. Because yep. I've seen him play guard, and I've seen him set on wide three techniques, and he looks like a tackle doing it, even though he's only six foot, six foot two and a half, six foot three inches tall. So it's a matter of what you've been taught. 
and consistently offensive guards are they're battle tested in the power mo mode and they want to stand in there in, in the heart of the pocket. And with Chris Jones lining them out there, that is a formula for defeat and a bust of the quarterback. And Jackie's always mentioned that the skill position players are not only the quarterbacks and receivers. Their uh, skill position players are offensive linemen absolutely. as well. Absolutely. There's a lot of mind games going on. Absolutely. Up front. You know, you gotta know you gotta play games with the guy you're playing against, you know, and everybody just looks at it and takes it for granted. That every that well, it's all gonna be protected. Well, you don't know all these different <laughs> games and that's going on up front. That's right. In the trenches. That's, that's where right, the games Vince. are won and lost. That's right. All right, Vince. Um, I guess the next thing we got to get to is uh, over to the NFC North. The NFC oh, North is yeah. going to be 